Number 37, graph the inequality, and we have x minus y is greater than negative 5. And just like before with number 36, let's pretend that instead of an inequality, we were given an equal sign. So x minus y equals negative 5. And I asked, how would you graph this line if this is what you were given? Well, you could either do one of two things, find your x and y intercepts, or you could put this into y equals mx plus b slope intercept form. And I'm gonna go ahead and do that here. So we'll subtract x from both sides. That leaves us with negative y equals negative x minus five. And lastly, we'll divide the whole, or rather multiply the whole equation by negative one so that we can have a positive y. And so we have y equals x plus five. And now we can easily graph this a line because we know that our y-intercept is at positive five. And from the y-intercept, we're gonna use our slope, which is one, to find the next point. So if our slope is one, that means we go up one and over one. But before we connect our two points, we've got to go back to the original inequality and see what kind of line we're going to use. Recall that if your inequality is less than or equal to greater than or equal to, you have to use a solid line. And if it's simply less than or greater than, you can use, or you have to use rather, a solid or dashed line. In this case, because our inequality is greater than, we're going to connect our points with a dashed line. All right, and now our last step is to determine which side of this line we wanna shade on or have to shade on. And to do that, we're going to choose a test point. And you can choose any point for your test point so long as the point doesn't lie on the graph itself. And I'm gonna go ahead and choose zero, zero as our test point. Zeros are easy to work with, so let's make our life easy where we can. We take our test point, plug it into the original inequality, and see if we get a true statement. So we have x minus y is greater than negative five. Well, zero minus zero is just zero, so we have zero is greater than negative five. Is this a true statement? Is zero greater than negative five? Yeah, it sure is, right? And so because the side of the line that we chose to test resulted in a true statement, that means we're going to shade on this side of the line. Remember, you only shade on the side of the line where when you take a point from that side, plug it into the inequality, you get a true statement. If we would have chosen a point from above the line and plugged it in, we would have gotten a false statement. And by virtue of getting a false statement above the line, that tells us to shade below the line. All right, so there's number 37. I'll see you at number 38.